Hey everybody, welcome back on this episode of the 570 Polaris Ranger SP. Can't hardly slow my son down, he's burning up. I told y'all he was going to do a lift kit. It's made in the USA and it's www.marshallmotoart.com. I'm pretty sure that there it goes right there. That's the <coughs> guy that does the lift kits and he's already got it on. I'm sorry for y'all. There's the piece there. And on the back, let's see if we can see it right here. And it come with sway bar pieces to extend the sway bar. So if you're interested in a lift kit, there's your guy, check him out. But he has quality work and the parts fit and they extend the sway bar and that stuff and keeps everything out of a bind. Next, he's putting a sound bar on. This came from Super ATV sound bar. Goes right on the back. I think that's eight inch rock wheels. He's got two of them on here firing into the cab and in just a few minutes, he's fixing to put at least two more on firing out the back. Here goes his amp that he's mounting in the roof. Rockville RX F3. I don't think they run radios on these things. It's like a little thing that your phone just Bluetooths to to send power to the amp. Yeah, try to bring y'all along. If I can slow him down enough for me to record, that's going to be the biggest problem because when he's off of work, he's ready to roll with it. Y'all make sure y'all subscribe. Hit the thumbs up for us so you don't miss any of our upcoming videos. And let's check this process out. Well, he's trying to figure out how to run the wires. Hold it there. back up there, kind of how you're thinking like that and we'll do aluminum brackets or something for the amp to screw to and then that'll hook to this front bar somehow and the back bar we'll have to figure that out well he's back working on his system here getting everything put in like he wants it got the roof pulled back off mounting his amp <coughs> up in the top with aluminum See how he's braiding all of his wires, putting the stuff on the heat shrinks. You can kind of see it right there. Way done. Looking good. Fired it up last night. If y'all were in the live, we do a live hangout every Sunday night. And he was out there working on it, putting it, putting it in and just fired it up, testing it. So if you weren't in there on Sunday night, make sure you start coming in on Sunday nights at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard and hanging out with us a little bit. All right, it's night time and he's still going, y'all. He's got his amp brackets mounted up. Running all of his wire. Getting it nice and neat and wire tied up. Got it grounded. Got his hot and all run in. It's hard to see all that. Looking nice. That's what I'm trying to trying to slow him down, y'all. When you get a little age on you, it's easier to slow down. When you're 21, it's hard to get him to slow down and do it right the first time, but he's doing good so far. Don't let me brag on him. Let me knock on wood. Don't wanna, don't wanna jinx him. Let me find some wood. I'll bring y'all back in a few more minutes. And if not, it'll be on the next video. So y'all 
Make sure y'all continue checking out the 570 SP build 2023 model. Here goes uh, another little piece of the puzzle for the 2023 Polaris Ranger 570 SP build. Got him some <clears throat> high lifter Outlaw 2s, 29.5 on 14 day on Polaris rims already. Got these from a buddy that we know that rides, we're gonna be riding with and stuff. So let's get one of them down and sit beside it and see what they're gonna look like. I don't know if his little lift kit he done is gonna be enough to clear that much difference of tire. That's a whole, whole lot of difference. I know it says it's only a 25 to a 29.5. Good night, that's a lot of difference in tire. A whole, whole lot of difference. Look at this thing. Reckon we'll see whenever he gets home to try them. All right, those of y'all that follow us on Facebook and all at Gerald Farms, you know that we just went and picked these up and we just posted them online for sale. They won't fit. They're too much inset and they're hitting the strut and stuff. So if you're seeing this in the video, these are up for sale. They're... 29.5 by 14 inch rims. The, these are nine and a half wide. The fronts are nine and a half wide. The backs are 11 wide. So 900 bucks if you're watching this and you see it in the video and you want them. Our phone number to reach out to us through here is 843-433. 3127. So if you're interested in the tires, hit me up. But if not, we back to the video here. We're trying to figure out what his next move is gonna be now as far as tires and stuff for us for the Ranger SP570. Stay tuned, make sure you subscribe, ring the bell where you don't miss any of our upcoming videos. Whether they're working on the Ranger 570 2023 SP or welding, fabricating, farming, or dirt track racing, whatever we're getting into. Thanks for watching. Have a good one.